For more on the story, I'm joined now by Keith Porteous Wood. He's president of the UK's National Secular Society, and he's been campaigning for 20 years to ensure justice for victims of clerical abuse. And he worked closely with the author of the report on abuse in the French Catholic Church. Thanks for being with us. Mr. Wood, do you trust the church to make the changes needed to stop this kind of abuse? I'm afraid I'm with Francis DeVoe on that. So I've been studying this around the world for the last 20 years, and there is not one country in the world where the Catholic Church is behaving appropriately in disclosing victims to civil courts and paying reasonable compensation, despite the fact that in 2014, uh, the UN Committee for the Rights of the Child urged, a word it doesn't use very often, urged the Vatican to make it mandatory for such reporting to secular authorities to take place. Now, the victims, of course, can never fully be given back what was taken from them. But do you expect that the victims, uh, those who have been identified, do you expect for them to be paid compensation by the church? Uh, well, I think that DeVoe is doing the right thing by trying to force it. A, pre a legal precedent must be created for the church to pay realistic responsibility uh, to, to the victim, um, compensation to, uh, to the victims. And that's not a, a, a given. Um, the, the church tries whenever it can to avoid that. It went in the UK to the Supreme Court to avoid doing so, but failed. In hmm. France, the record's equally bad. Uh, they don't even morally accept responsibility for past d d uh, abuse. They even tried to suggest raising a public subscription uh, to pay out victims of, of abuse uh, and, and for the amount that they received to dependence on the public's generosity. Right. That's outrageous. So it gives you an idea about how difficult it will be for the victims, but it's essential mm that the church pays. It's very rich. Yes. Um, and and it's, very, it's completely culpable, as, as your previous uh, piece showed. So that's the church. What about the French state? Because uh, this abuse went on for decades. Do you hold the French state partly responsible for allowing the abuses to oh, continue do, for so long? I do. They, uh, paradoxically, since 1905, there's been a close administrative arrangement between the church and the state. Um, and more than that, uh, the, ch the church has, I beg your pardon, the state uh, has not upheld the laws, weak though they are, to bring uh, abusive clerics and the bishops who, who cover it up uh, to, to law. There hasn't been one prosecution of, 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 uh, of a bishop that's, rent, that's resulted in jail or any, any fine, hmm. uh, and very, very few uh, cases have succeeded against the, the, the clerics, despite there being over 200,000 examples since 1950. The church appears to be above the law in France, which is dreadful for a secular state. Um, and it's almost that they, uh, the, the prosecutors are frightened to, to, to bring the church to account. And Mr. That, that needs to, st to stop. We need to make the law much stronger for mandatory reporting, a complete revision of that law, a complete extension of the statutes of limitation for this kind of uh, abuse. Um, Mr. Wood, church, thank you. Uh, Sorry, Mr. Wood, thank you. Thank you very much for talking with us. That was Keith Porteous Wood, president of the UK's National Secular Society.